Mm. Yeah. Got a little bit of a cold. Oh, oh, oh. Find them. Find them back alive. Okay, here we are in another day. Getting a little bit of healing to recover from our injuries after a good night's rest. Still no sign of Jim. I don't know if he was going to meet us. I mean, he, I thought we, he was going to meet us back at the uh, village that he sent us to. But now he sent us to another location told us to set up camp at base of mountains. Well, this is technically not the base, but I think it's a good, high, safe place for us to have a camp. Because, I mean, there's not really a lot of room for a camp at the base of the mountains. I mean, we could have done it down here. But this is actually less room than up there anyways. So. That's got a lot of snow over there. I was talking about trying to go and get, gather some spruce wood. So that we can build up the base camp a little bit more. In fact, actually, come to think of it. We might want to build uh, a little bit of a camp down here, but what would we do? I'm not sure. Yes, those are all, let's see, this is just a regular forest. All of the spruce seems to be up in the snowy parts. Which we could, I don't know. I'm trying to avoid going in there. Oh, here's a fallen log. Let's grab that. Whoa, a cave. Deep pit. That's going to be some more points of exploration later on. Yeah, we've got some trees growing over here near the camp, so we're going to have a, a, a regular supply of wood. And we've already got some wood stashed away in the chest. So we're not really, you know, in any great need. We've got, we've got a, a supplies. Let's try chopping down these trees and then we'll replant. Okay, so we'll put the apple away in here. You know, we should I was talking a little bit earlier, several episodes ago, I suppose, about how we need to create a little bit of a farm for the mushrooms and for the sweet berries. Now, the mushrooms are going to need a little bit of darkness. If we were to want them to grow. So, what can we do here? I think, let's look and see, we only have nine dirt. I'm thinking we're going to do, a little bit of a, um, So then, uh, oh, it's time to get to bed. Because I think... I th 
think the um, the mushrooms are going to be very important. It looks like, I mean, it, I only have one oxide daisy in the chest, but you'll notice there's quite a few of them growing around here. So we're not in desperate need of, oh, the birch finally drew. So that, that answers the question about whether it's too cold for birch. There is no. Okay, so red mushroom there brown mushroom there okay so then that should grow reasonably well and I think what we want to do is uh, make some slabs This is just a safety precaution. Some of the creatures will be too tall to get through that opening. But uh, we can crouch and get through there. Now, of course, there are some that can get out Actually, I think we will take care of that possibility. This makes it like a nice little darkish area where the mushrooms can grow. We might expand it at some point. Get rid of the slabs. We might need those slabs later on. For the moment, I think we're set. Collect a quick bit of wood up here and replant. Then we're going to have to think more about how to expand the base, but uh, the main thing we want to do is explore the next cave, I think, because we already did this area, I believe. Let's look over here. Actually, we might not have done this yet. Yeah, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I see you. Oh! He got me before I got my shield up. of a cavern somewhere nearby. But, uh, there's some, looks like there's something over here, too. No, this is just a little dugout area. Now, we were already down here. I'm going to put a more light there. Try and not again, not to uh, go crazy on the mining. We just want to collect a little bit of resources. Let's 
see, we'll leave this coal for later in case we need to collect it, but... Okay, so that's actually basically the end of that cave. So this one doesn't go very far, but there were some... We'll certainly keep it in mind as a place to go get some more coal if we actually need it. Although, of course, since we have a steady stream of wood, we can always make charcoal where necessary. Yeah, we need to replant our birch. I think what eventually we might have to make a little shed. Maybe not a shed. Maybe we'll do another um, pavilion for the uh, smelting operation. But we needed to um, get our wood going here. Bit of a coal. Oh, ho, ho. I was about to go and look to see how the mushrooms were doing and saw that we have an unwelcome friend. Well, we're not going to go in there or get too close. Although, maybe we can. change on the mushroom front. So we've got part of our food supply sorted out, sort of. I mean, it's not producing a lot right at the moment, but We do have something going. And what I'm going to do down here is, uh, create a little one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's a good number. Okay. Righty, and then what we're going to do, actually we can put this last piece of dirt away. plant our berries. Now you may be wondering why did I put down dirt when I could have just put it right into the grassy area. I don't need to create a little stand of dirt. The reason why is because uh, you may have noticed that I keep running into them and uh, getting hurt by the berry bushes. This way, when I want to go and harvest, we could just run alongside, harvest the berries, and not be injured at all. There is a cow in our mushroom farm. Well, cows don't eat mushrooms. At least I don't think they eat mushrooms. So that's not a big problem. We'll just go ahead and do a little bit of a sleep. 